More than 20,000 people are here at the United Nations Climate Conference in Paris, and it all comes down to this, a 48-page draft agreement. A lot of people are confused about what's inside. I'm going to go look for an explanation from somebody who knows what they're talking about. There's two pieces to this agreement, um, and I want you to walk me through the two pieces. What everyone's talking about is the agreement itself. That's this document. And this is the rock that we need to finish here. It's a set of articles and principles and concepts of how we're gonna deal with climate change for the next 20 years. This becomes the entire basis of how the world deals with climate change. If we get the Paris Agreement, it's the most ambitious international environmental agreement of this generation. But to make that work, you've got the agreement, and then you have to breathe life into it. You have to cloak it with decisions and finance and more particular information. And that's the part of the discussions here called the decisions. So we've got the Paris Agreement that is a rock, and then we've got a set of decisions that throw the rock or move the rock or roll the rock or stop the rock. But the decisions bring life to that agreement. So what goes in the agreement and what goes in the decisions? That's a matter of negotiations, but in, in principle, the agreement can be changed in the future, but it's very unlikely. So you want it to last. Decisions breathe life to it, but decisions can change. So we want as much specifics, ambitious information in the agreement but if it's contentious during the negotiations here or they're not able to get compromised, they still need to get this across the line. So they'll move some of the decision making and some of the arguing and compromises out of the core agreement, the rock, and move it into the decisions. Because right now we've got, you know, 150 paragraphs of decisions. And if they can't get to an agreement, what they can do is just say, we didn't get to an agreement, We'll start this conversation next year. <laughs> but we still need the rock to be developed here and passed by all parties, all countries on Earth. We are a long way from an agreement here. The political will is here, but there are still hundreds of legal decisions that have to be translated across six languages that have to do with some of the most contentious issues on Earth. Those still need to be resolved. <laughs> right. So, right. Uh, you know, in terms of negotiations, I teach at the University of California, as you know, like for the midterm, countries would have gotten a B plus, but you can still get an F for the course if you don't show up to the final exam. Like, right. we're not there yet. Right, right. So we're hoping that the agreement will be as ambitious as possible, and we also hope the decisions will be as ambitious as possible.